guys, this is Lilith Every Night, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about the shadow people. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but I would just want to talk about a story time as well. Uh, yeah, so my experience with the shadow people is when I used to try, I used to be so interested in astral projection, and I think I'll make another story about that, you know. Astral projection is so much more deeper and so much more constructed, not only by people that look like me who are into the spiritual realm, but people who look like your everyday people who go to church. Like, it's a long story, so I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to talk about the shadow people. So when I try, when I was always trying to practice, practice astral projection, when I lived in the San Fernando Valley, um, there was eventually a time where I woke up to a shadow person. It, I heard a hissing sound, and I thought it was my cat. And what happened was, was that I woke up, I saw it, and it was just so dark. It was like so dark in my room, and the shadow person was blacker than black. And it was really tall. And we just, I wasn't paralyzed though. I can, I was able to talk, I was able to move, and it was just crazy because I wasn't scared. And I hear other stories of people, they say when they encounter shadow people, that they usually get sleep paralysis, but I didn't. And um, I was just moving around and, you know, I would turn back and it was still there, and then eventually it, it disappeared. It, it evaporated into mist. So, I, you know, that was one of my encounters. Another encounter, I would just see them walking around the neighborhood where I live at now. One time I seen them walk through the wall, walk through the walls of my house and walk around my neighborhoods. Like, where my, when I was in my backyard, I was able to see them walk around. Um, also when, uh, when I lived in the San Fernando Valley, we went to a cemetery in the middle of the night. We drove by it and we went to the gateway and we saw a shadow person, but we saw the ones with the hat, but it wasn't transparent like a ghost. It was like, it was solid like me. Like it had, you could see its clothes, you could see its skin. Um, not really the skin, but like you could just see the dark, like it was just dark, but you could see the coat, you could see the texture of its body, just so you can see the texture of me, um, and we all saw it, and, like, again, I wasn't scared, I know, but, you know, I'm just a weird person like that, but my friend, she was, like, freaked out, and I don't blame her, <laughs> another thing is that I was watching a video yesterday about, um, shadow people, and, People said that they're connected to the reptilians and um, the jinn as well. You know, I don't really know why my video is cutting off because I just got a SIM card. So it better not be acting stupid now. Like, maybe it's them. They're like, oh, we don't want you posting this information. <laughs> okay, but anyway. So anyway, uh, this woman... She had a very great, uh, she has a lot of wisdom, and, uh, her name is Rosemary Gully, and, um, she was talking about how they feed off of fear, and how they like control, and all that, all that shit, but, you know, so that's why, like, if you look at the personality traits of the reptilians, if you do some research on it, you'll realize that they kind of are similar to what Rosemary was talking about. I think I'll post that video down in the in the description. And anyway, um, yeah, you know they feed off of fear and they like control. She said, and they like chaos and destruction. But I was also it was ironic because before I was really into this stuff, really deep as I am now, uh, it's ironic because I was reading in my book that's about Wicca, which I talked about in my other video, Music is Magic. I, if nobody would have taught me about this, I would have never known. And in this book, they don't even tell you what the gen is, but I wrote it down.
But in my Wicca book, it just talks about the jinn, but they make it seem like, oh, you know, like, they're just elementals that, that are just there to help you. And, okay, so this is what the book says. It said, I wrote it down. But it says Jen are here to influence our they help in, they influence our emotions, uh, metabolism, sense of idealism, their energy is one of transformation, they destroy and then rebuild, and they can also help to heal and detoxify the body because of their energy. They can be difficult to control. Okay. You know, I get so hot because it's like you know, it's like, it gets so hot out here in this desert. But anyway, yeah, new wig, new style today. Um, let's see. Yeah, but that's about the gen, you know. And then they're being associated with shadow people. Um, am I surprised that they are possibly uh, the gen? The gen were reptilians? No, not really. Um, nothing really surprises me anymore. But I was also, another experience that I had with them, though, that wasn't bad, was, um, or at least to my opinion, I was in the forest and I saw, I saw so many shadow people, and they were standing by the trees, the forest trees, but they had an aura around them, like an aura, but it was like electricity. I was like, oh my god, this is awesome, you know, like, they didn't look like they were there to hurt, you know, us, they were just there observing and watching, and I looked up, why would there be shadow people in the forest, if my computer comes on, so pretty much, um, they say the ones that are out in the forest, that the shadow people that live outdoors, or in nature, settings like forests, these ones hang around trees and are said to be shadow stalkers. Some say that they are protective spirits that guard nature and protect the elementals. They appear as shadow beings, but are possibly not actually harmful. So, yeah, you know, that's exactly kind of what I had felt when I saw them in the forest. Yeah, but, um... What else? It's ironic because right there, they said that they're there to protect the elementals. And in my book that I was talking about in the last video, my Wicca book, um, it says that, I don't know why, but it says that the gen are connected to the elementals in my book, which is kind of like a weird coincidence or maybe a synchronicity. Um, yeah, you know, some people, most people would say that jinn are not ones to mess with. They are demon, demonic, and, uh, but I've also heard, even Rosemary Gully said that, yeah, even some are bad, but there are some that are good. And, uh, somebody else that I know personally, he told me the same thing. He was like, oh, you know, they're not, some of, some of them are bad, some of them are not. But either way... If I were to choose an option, I don't know, like if I had a choice to make in this situation, the best thing that I would say, just for people who are not too aware of this kind of stuff, um, I would say to just stay away from it, you know, stay away from some things that we don't know. Like, you know, there's just some people who know more than us and, um, you know, only, you know, the most high, you know universe, God, whatever you believe in knows about all what is going on with these beings and the best thing we can do is protect ourselves and um, the best way that I notice that you know it's just like clearly they like fear and um, uh, I would say Maybe the reason why I didn't have sleep paralysis that night when it was trying to contact me was because um, I just didn't fear it. And I was able to move, I was able to talk, I was able to do all of that. Um, some people have told me the same situations that go on. They wake up to a shadow person, but, you know, they end up 
being paralyzed by it, God forbid, you know, knock on wood, but, you know, um, yeah, that's just my, my experience with them. Also, there's movies that throw out hints about this kind of stuff. I forgot, there's a, a, a independent movie, an indie movie that talks about shadow people, and it talks about a true story that was based on them, about a little boy who was always telling his family about him, and you know, he ended up something, you know, so I don't want to talk about it, but it's really, it's a sad story. If I find it, I'll post it. Um, but yeah, uh, Freddy Cougar Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street is definitely based on the shadow people. Um, all these movies are based on what is really going on. They just add fiction to it. It is true when they say that the, what is it? The truth is stranger than fiction. And the movies definitely mock the truth. And it is stranger than fiction. Because everything that we think is fiction is based on the truth. And that's what makes it strange. Um, I think I'll make another video on that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Some people think that... You know, I also think because I was trying to astral project that night... That it came to me. It was like, you know, it's not a coincidence that, you know, this being tried to come to me as soon as I tried to astral project. And I also think that they're also like the gatekeepers of uh, astral travel and the astral realm. Because um, they don't want people knowing. Some people in this world, some beings, some entities don't want people to know about what's really going down. And I don't want to talk about that, you know, but it's the sad truth. Um, but then again... This world, this world is a mystery. You, you know, I've seen crazy things. You know, I'm not a religious person, but, you know, there's times where I need some therapy in my mind. And, you know, sometimes I've, you know, I've, I stayed open-minded and went to the church. Just to, not because I was trying to convert, but because I was just trying to get that, that divine guidance. And don't get me wrong, I do. And I should be more aware of that. But you, I've, I've encountered some very strange supernatural beings also in the church. And not to throw them under the bus. This is not to expose people for being bad people or good people. This is just about my... my this is like my video diary. So yeah, um, what do I think shadow people are? I think they are connected to the djinn. I think that they are carrying some darker energies that, you know, what's her name, Rosemary Gully, she talks about it so much more in detail, but, you know, I just thought that it would be interesting to talk about my story, because so many people talk about how they see shadow people, and they get paralyzed as soon as they see one, but I didn't, you know, I was able to get up, I was able to move, I was able to do whatever I wanted, I don't want to get cocky about it. It's not about being cocky, it's just, I think it's a unique story. Um, yeah, but, you know, also, side note, my uh, channel is based on art and spirituality. It's based on my magical journey, but it's also based on music, uh, which I also made that video for, was to say that music is magic, because as a witchy woman, you know, I use my music and my magic. And I use my art, my poetry, whatever, in my spirituality. Also, my tarot, my tarot readings, you know, they help me grow spiritually as well. So, um, if people feel like, I don't know what kind of channel this is. This is just a channel based on art and spirituality. But I'm very into the... I, I, I used to do some freelance herbalism on myself, on my healing journey, and I was thinking about doing that as well, but probably on a new channel. And, um, but yeah, just to talk about the herbs, I don't want to put too many genres on here, but I really love herbalism, and I think that I will be talking about that later on. And yeah, so yeah, this is just my unique story on the shadow people. Do I think they're good and bad? I think some of them are and some of them are probably not. Some of them are good and some of them are not. But 
I would say to just stay protected and to just don't even mess with, you know, dark energy. That's not good for us. But yeah, that is just my out. That's just my story on shadow people. Okay. Bless be. Oh yeah, subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the bell. And yeah.